Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Sarasota, Florida in a community called the Founders Club. It is a private golf community here in Sarasota, which is just a little bit uh, close to the west coast of uh, Florida, the Gulf Coast of Florida. So we're gonna show you this home behind us. This home behind us is built by AR Homes. This is Arthur Ruttenberg. It is 3,630 square feet of living. It has three bedrooms, four full baths, one half bath, and the price at time of filming. If you want to actually get a home like this, you'd actually have to build it a little bit north of here, about 10 minutes north, because unfortunately Founders Club is sold out. Um, but if you go 10 miles north by the Lakewood Ranch area, they can build one of these. As you see here, with everything that you see, except for the furniture and the actual decor, for about 2.5, a little bit over 2.5 million. Now that price may change. Today is February 22nd, 2022. So it's two, 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 or two, 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 two depending if you're in England or in the States. Um, so that's a pretty cool date. Um, and uh, that price, obviously, if you're watching this in April of 2022, or if you're watching this in 2030, that price is gonna be different. So make sure you check out the description below. Contact us and we'll get you all the updated information on this specific home. So let's go ahead and show you the home. So as we come up, of course, we have a nice paved driveway. And what I really like about this is the little car area here for parking your cars and how they change from one color pavers to the other, made it into like a diamond shape. And it just really makes it look like a very luxurious home, which of course it is. The outside of the home is beautiful. It's one that actually Haley, look, we were looking at pictures of homes and Haley, who's behind the camera, uh, she's like, oh, I love the look of that home as far as the exterior look. So we do have a three car garage here, but it's like even how the garage has the little exterior aesthetic pieces around it. They have recessed lights uh, in the overhang here. And of course these like hurricane shutters, they're not really hurricane shutters, but they're like sort of the core like hurricane shutters over all the windows. So this really makes the outside, the exterior of the home really pop, get some really good curb appeal. Of course, along with all the landscaping, palm trees, magnolia trees, and all the shrubbery that we have going around. Uh, so let's go ahead and go up and check it out. So as you go up, another thing that's really cool is that the pavers change that gray color as you come up these two steps. Now we're under the covered patio. And the one thing I do notice is when I look up, we have this woodworking above us, of course, with the beams going down, and we do have lights on either side of the actual entryway and this beautiful door. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out the rest of the home. Welcome to this beautiful home. So as I come in and close this door, one thing I notice is that this is a very significant door. So it's very well made, extremely uh, good looking door with this privacy glass in the front as well, of course. Um, and then as I come into the entrance, I look down, we have these really nice floors going all the way throughout the home. And then I look up, we see two different chandeliers popping down from the ceiling. And then on either side, we have this beautiful tile work going from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. And remember, everything that you see here is included in that price that we we're talking about outside. So let's go ahead and go over to the office. Now the office, we have a matching tile work on this side, but we do have the sliding door. Uh, which is really nice for the privacy if you want to slide that in to get some work done. And this is a really nice space. Very tall ceilings, crown molding around, and of course they have these two different colors that really uh, do well with the actual ambience of the actual office space. So we have our windows looking out with the hurricane shutters and of course the flooring throughout. So let's go ahead and go over to show you what it looks like when we come into the home. So. As we come into the home, this will be the view that you have of the family room and also the outside living area, which is absolutely beautiful. We'll show you that later. But first of all, we'll go over and show you that half bathroom, which is right here. Um, so when your guests have to use a restroom, we have that half bathroom right here. Beautiful tile work all the way through. And this mirror is actually sort of floating off the wall with LED lights going around the back. And we even have crown molding here in the bathroom. And then of course behind me, is some shelving that is built in with little uh, lights to show you the different or the different sort of uh, displays that you have on the wall there. So behind this door is just the air handler. And then the next thing is let's talk about the family room. So this is the family room. It's really nice. We do have a uh, tile work going out throughout the uh, family room here with a TV in the middle. And then a uh, very nice space for sitting and enjoying the beautiful Florida weather because as you can see, Behind us, we can open up these sliding glass doors and get this beautiful outdoor living. And of course, you see part of that 700 acres of the Founders Club back there as well. So come and follow me this direction. We'll go over to the primary bedroom suite, which is right through this door. 
So as we come here, we're gonna go ahead and go to your left and show you what we have. So right here is gonna be one of the actual closets. And then that one obviously has some pretty good space as far as putting his shoes and drawers, it even has a little mirror there. And then on the other side, we have a little bit of a larger uh, closet space. Uh, this one here, you definitely have more space, probably about two and a half times as space as the other closet. We have a mirror behind me and of course plenty of space to put your shoes and of course the drawer and we even have a window here for some natural light which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and we go over to the actual bedroom. Now this one does have carpet um, and it has these beautiful windows to give you that beautiful view outside. Um, and then of course above me we have these architectural ceilings and a beautiful light that comes down from the center and we do have the king size bed with plenty of space on either side so let's go ahead and show you the bathroom which is right down here so follow me this direction this one does have the french doors so welcome to our bathroom so let's start over on this side here so we do have the actual tub um, it's a nice garden tub with a window that you have the privacy screen that you can pull down. Now, as I look up, one thing that's really neat about this, a little feature that I haven't really seen in many homes, is that the wall stops before the ceiling and they have LED lights built into that gap on either side, which is really neat. And of course, we have the shower. It's a beautiful shower, frameless. It has a little uh, uh, window up there where you can sort of shift it to allow it to vent. And then as I go in, we have the tile and then Beautiful tile work here that goes in line with the actual windows. And of course we have the shower head and, and plenty, of, plenty of space here to take a shower. Now, if I go over this direction, we do see that we do have a sink. And beautiful, I love these countertops, um, nice black color. And then of course the cabinets match really good with the uh, countertops sink. And then you have a little bit of a larger one on this side um, with some drawers. Uh, for all your stuff and then also the countertop. The mirror is really neat too because the mirror is actually pushed into the wall and then we have these two lights on either side. Over to my left is the water closet um, and that is the bathroom. So let's go ahead and go through to the other side of the house. Now, if you haven't known already, make sure you like the video. Also subscribe to our channel. We we'll would definitely appreciate that. Me and Haley, who is behind the camera today, as we come back here and we pass the beautiful pool area again, we'll go over to the kitchen and show you the kitchen. So we have the kitchen, the dining room's over there. So let's start over in this direction here. We do have the actual uh, stove and it does have a double oven. It is a Thermador, which is a really high quality oven. Of course, like I said, everything is included in that price. Um, and then we have these nice cabinets. The backsplash has a, like a diamond shape and it, it does match really well with the cabinets. We have a gas stove top and of course the vent, which vents everything outside. On the other side, we do have our microwave. Hit the open button, you can do all your microwaving stuff and then of course you just close it back there like that. Nice countertops and you have a sink. We do have a couple pendant lights coming down from the ceiling. And of course the ceiling sort of like a floating ceiling. It comes down, uh, it does have the LED lights on the inside of it as well. Uh, we have our dishwasher and then we come over to the fridge. The fridge is also a Thermador fridge. Plenty of space for everything that you need. You have the refrigerator on that side and you have the freezer on this side. But of course, one of the coolest features is right here. You're like, hey, that's just the cabinet. But as I open it up, it's actually a pantry. So let's go ahead and go inside and check it out. So you have plenty of space here for <laughs> the light turn on and off on us. Haley's trying to turn it back on. There we go. All right, so here we are in the pantry. Plenty of space here. And then we even have a little tiny refrigerator right here to my left, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and get back out there. And then we're gonna show you those bedrooms, which are down this way. So if I go left, um, the first thing is we do have a little storage closet here where you can store some cleaning supplies or whatever you might need in the storage closet. And then we have bedroom number two. So what's nice about this one, we do get into carpet here as well with nice high quality carpet. And then we do have this accent wall behind the bed with this sort of gray color, it really pops against the whites. A very, very high ceilings again. And then on the other side, we do have a walk-in closet, which is a nice space. Plenty of space here for all your clothes 
And then if I go this direction, this one does have its own bathroom. So that we go back into ceramic tile, and then we have the nice cabinets and countertops and a mirror that's framed with a light above it. And then on the other side, we do have the shower. The shower has pretty cool tile going up the center that sort of contrasts really good with the white tile on either side. So let's go ahead, go back down the hallway. And this will be bedroom number three. So you can see this is a nice size bedroom, plenty of space here. We have a window on either side. And of course we do have an actual bathroom that goes along with it. So here is the bathroom. We have nice cabinets and of course the countertop here. Mirror that's also framed that actually matches the cabinets. I love this shower. Um, I just like the colors. It's sort of like the granite sort of colors, but then the actual accent colors that go all the way through the center of it. And then the window that gives you some natural light. Um, over to my right or your left would be the actual walk-in closet. So we do have plenty of space here as well for all your clothes. So let's go ahead and go down the hallway here and show you what's down here. So we do have a laundry room and even in this area, we do have that nice uh, wood paneling uh, that sort of really just shows you that this is a really good quality home. This does have a sliding door. Um, but this would be the laundry room. We do have built-in cabinets. We have our washer, we have our dryer. And of course the cabinet's going all the way around here, even with a sink and the sink looks out onto the side yard. Uh, it even has a little built-in area here. So you can probably use this as a craft room as well. So if you want to do something, oh look, they have Bob Ross. I couldn't remember Bob Ross's name yesterday. Haley had to help me out, but they have Bob Ross here painting, painting uh, some trees on there. So I guess that would be a good craft room, right? They even have it all set up for that. We do have our garage as a three car garage. I'll open that up so you can see it. So nice size garage. And then and through this door, there's another air handler, but there is some extra storage space. So if I open that up, you can see that you can store all your seasonal things in there as well. So follow me this direction. We're gonna go to the other side of the house. Um, again, if you're looking for a luxury house anywhere in Florida, make sure you give us a call. Our information will be in the description, or you can call or, or text me anytime at 407-487-3030 as we come into the dining room. This has got the Knights of the Round Table thing going on here too, where everyone's equal. So there's no head of the table. Um, and it's currently set up for, looks like eight people. So nice size, it's a really, really big room um, with plenty of space. Above us is a tray ceiling or dual trails tray ceiling, beautiful light fixture there. And then of course the wall, nice architectural wall with really good, cool woodworking and windows that go around it as well. And then on this side, we do have a bar area where you can have your wine or champagne, have your glasses, and then of course the cabinet. And we even have a beverage fridge here where you can keep all your wine as well. So definitely an entertainment house, and you'll see that when we go outside. So follow me this direction, we're gonna show you another bathroom and entertainment area. So here to the left is another full bath. This one's got some really nice, beautiful tile work on the floor, like grayish black color cabinet where you have the shelf on the bottom for your towels, a uh, nice countertop, and then of course the frame mirror that we're seeing in all the bathrooms here. Light fixture, we do have a window here for some light, and then of course the shower, and the shower has the um, hexagon shape tile going around with blacks, grays, and whites, which is really cool. And then of course, with the window up there for some natural light. So you can see the beautiful blue skies outside here in Florida. So, and then we go through, we have another set of French doors going into the entertainment area. So your media room, so come on back here. So this will be where you can hang out, play board games, watch a movie. They have a billiards game on right now on the actual TV. And then of course you have another bar here. Like I said, this is definitely an entertainment home. We have our beverage fridge, plenty of counter sink. You can, uh, well, that's actually, that's not fake. That's real, real liquid in there. Um, anyway, and it has a nice backsplash with a ceramic tile, some shelves. The shelves even have LED lights coming off the bottom to highlight all your alcohol collection, as you can see up there. Um, and, you know, and then of course we have the crown moldings in the ceiling as well. So let's go ahead and go outside and show you the outside living. 
So the first thing I noticed is a beautiful, beautiful stonework out here on the outside patio area. We have our living room, and of course that comes out of the sliding glass door going to the actual, that media area. But then we have another door over by where the restroom is. We have a huge slider glass door over here that opens up completely uh, into that dining room area. We have another sliding glass door here that opens up to the kitchen and has this little sitting area out here. And then we have another opening space here. So you can pretty much have this open to your family room, your kitchen, your dining room, and also your media room behind the cabinet. So pretty much your outdoor living is now in. So literally I could be in the family room right here or on a day like today, which is absolutely beautiful, about 78 degrees right now. You can also be out here in the outside living room even has a TV in this covered area uh, with some nice recessed lights. And of course, the pool behind me. And the pool is a beautiful pool, has an amazing view, has these fountains that come out, and of course, a tanning shelf. And then what's really cool is we have our jacuzzi here to the left. And then we have like a little bridge that goes across the pool over to the summer kitchen. And this summer kitchen has actually won an award very recently. The Parade of Homes here in Sarasota has just happened and they won an actual award for a best feature of outdoor kitchen. Beautiful granite countertops. And of course we have our refrigerator barbecue. The granite goes here. We have the actual vent that vents out and then granite goes all the way around. We even have a TV out here on the food channel. I like how every single room, the TV's on a specific channel. Like this one's the food channel. The media room was billiards. The laundry room was Bob Ross. Uh, we even have a little area here where you can sit, enjoy some drinks, and of course the sink behind us. So let's go ahead and show you because the actual patio keeps on going. We have our, our tanning benches here. So you can stay here and enjoy the beautiful Florida weather. Or if you wanted to, you can sit around in a little fire pit and just have some nice conversations or have roast some marshmallows over here as well. So that's this home. Again, if you haven't done already, make sure you like the video and also subscribe to our channel if you like luxury homes or just looking at cool home designs and interior designs. This is definitely a channel to check out. So both me and Haley say thank you for watching and we'll talk to you all next week. Take care, bye-bye.